We're going to do a quick recap on the Rams versus the Cowboys. Week 3, 2013 season. Uh, the Rams were in this game 1-1. One -on -one. Cowboys the same. Both teams that won the that won week week one games and uh, didn't didn't perform as well in the second week. So it was a game where you felt both teams were coming in looking to uh, get to get their justice in and prove that they are playoff caliber teams and potentially conference uh, divisional championship teams. However, one team must win, one team must lose, excluding the draw. There's also a little bit of also a little bit of revenge game for the Rams, being the fact that uh, the previous game, time, last time we played, the uh, the Niners, uh, Demarco Murray ran all over us. So uh, going into the game, the keys that I really saw for the Rams to win limit Demarco Murray. Well, one thing is you have to either limit DeMarco Murray or limit Des Bryant in the passing attack. Can't do both. <coughs> Shut down the rushing attack, the pass rushing attack of DeMarcus Ware and the Dallas Cowboys, and uh, spread the ball out and have some form of running game. That's what you like to have. However, what occurred was not that. Everything that the key for the Rams are winning did not happen. To start with, the game was a blowout. Uh, Cowboys about to win the game, uh, 31 to seven. They led uh, 17 to nothing at half, and they blew the Rams out. The Rams scored one touchdown in the third, but it didn't didn't really mean anything. And they really struggled to to establish themselves. Let's look into the stats. Sam Bradford was 29 for 48, 240 yards, one touchdown. Tormoro was 17 for 24, 210, 210 yards, three touchdowns. Now, he wasn't. Sam Bradford threw for more yards in this game, but however, they, they really didn't matter. At half, I believe the Rams only had 18 total yards. And even though Tormoro didn't throw for 300 yards, he basically could have. He could have. He wanted. He did. What he want? What he wanted? The game started off somewhat, somewhat weird. Because the Cowboys, uh, the Cowboys didn't score on the first drive, so they had to punt. No, the Rams didn't score on the first drive, so they had to punt. And after they punted, the Cowboys fumbled the ball, so we had a second chance. And after after the second chance, we went we went three and out, and we were going to punt or do a field goal, one of the two. And he went for a fake punter field goal. Didn't go for it. So we gave the Cowboys good position. And from there, you sort of tell the onside of the game. Because DeMarco Murray, one of the first keys I said to the game, ran all over us. DeMarco Murray went up running for, let's see here. DeMarco Murray went up running for, hit 26 rushes, 175 yards, a long of 41 and one touchdown. So it started off with DeMarco Murray pounding the ball down our faces. Then uh, Des Bryant wound up scoring a, a short two-yard touchdown where he pushed off on Quirley and Finnegan. I personally would have called the penalty to put pass interference, but they didn't call it. So if they don't call it, 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 it doesn't really matter what we say. Uh, the next series, the Rams went uh, three and out again, which was a trend in this game. They really struggled to get their offense moving. And uh, Cowboys got the ball back, and I believe uh, they kicked a field goal on the next uh, drive. Let me look, look this up. Play. So it wasn't it wasn't a uh, great game. It wasn't a great game for the Rams at all. They really got blown out in this game. And then, uh, and we, if we can come back and look at our passing stats, our receiving yards. Well, let's just start with this rushing. We had no rushing yards at all. It looks like Daryl Richardson was injured, or he he was injured coming into the game, 
and they said that someone stepped on his foot, and as a result of that, he was not going to play. And that was that happened in the first few plays of the game. They didn't talk about it. So as AP got the core majority of the rushing yards, and he didn't do he didn't do too high. He got six rushes for 20 yards. They did try to establish the run. It just didn't work. Tavon Austin had a run. Chris Givens had a run. Nothing going. The Rams had a total, it says, of 35 yards rushing. The next thing, the next key of the game was limit the rush of the Cowboys, DeMarcus Ware, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you expect that to happen. However, it didn't happen. Uh, DeMarcus Ware uh, pressured the Rams. There was one player we actually threw. He threw Chris. He threw Jake Long, our guy, down to the ground. Just killed him. It was embarrassing. He just threw him down to the ground. We also brought in another guy. His name was Hatcher, uh, and he got he got tossed around too. Very bad. So we couldn't we couldn't protect the Rams. And one thing you're starting to see with the Rams because we don't have a good running game, we're going to become a, a key. A key passing team because that's the only way we're gonna win. Now we're not able to go deep, and uh, it was a bad, it was a bad showing because all we could do was do short routes. Every single time, it seemed that Brad would try to drop back and do a long pass or a five step drop where he had to read the offense scan. He got sacked. I believe that they had five sacks in the first half, and it's and it was it was a thing that you're a little bit shocked by that because you thought Demarcus Ware and that that Cowboys defense would get to the Rams, but you didn't think they would get to them the way the way they did in this game, which was uh, which was embarrassing. They just they just pummeled them. Pumla, the whole whole game. Bradford, he didn't have a good game, but then again, I don't think anyone would have had a good game with this much pressure on him. So that was another thing to take into account. And it's two games in a row the Rams offense has started off really slow. That's two games in a row where the Rams have had they only they only they scored three points in the first half. So two two halves they scored a total of three points. And their opponents have scored a total of 24 plus 17 is what, 41? Yeah, 41. So they scored 41, 41 to 3, first two halves. Just not going to cut it. And another thing to take a note, note in this game was there were a lot of drops. I think Givens had a fumble. Austin had a drop. Cook had a drop. There are a lot of drops in this game. The Rams looked they looked ill prepared. They didn't look like, they didn't look like they were come. They didn't look like they were ready to play. Another uh, key stat takeaway from this game is uh, let's look at our, our defense. Obviously, a key to defense was to shut down Demarco Murray and keep that passing attack on us. In the sense that you don't want to let Des Bryant beat you. Because he's he's a big time threat. So the Rams played off him, and they sort of did that the whole game, but it didn't it didn't really work out. It seemed like Tony Romo could do what he want when he wanted, because Des Bryant. Let's see if we can pull these stats up. Des Bryant didn't have the. I don't believe he had the greatest game. He did have a touchdown, a two yard touchdown, but. He, it seemed that everyone else around him was having a pretty good game, and the Rams just didn't have it didn't have an answer to stop all of the Cowboys' weapons. You would have liked to have seen them be able to shut them down. In fact, there was one play, I believe it was when I forgot who came in the game. A player came in late, and he had to run from our sideline all the way across the field, and Rome just threw a touchdown to that guy's man. It was pretty. Yeah, I believe it happened the third quarter. I, I, that's what I want to say. And at that point, it was 24 nothing. So, this wasn't a good game. Come look at our defense. We have to start to realize 
What is our defense going to be? Because uh, their receiving core, Des Bryant had four receptions. Four receptions, thrown to six, total 38 yards, one touchdown. Not too great, but it was more of the things like Jason Wooden was five for six. It's just that they, they just spread us out too much. Our defense really didn't have an answer to stop, stop their passing threat. You also look at what happened to Chris Long, what happened to Robert Quinn, what happened to our pass rush. Uh, I think Romo only got sacks. Once in this game, he was hurt a couple times, but he was pretty clean back there. You expect a little bit more of a rush from us. And you're starting to wonder, is Crowland Finnegan and Janoris Jenkins the answer for us? Because they didn't really didn't really shut down the players. And Miles My Lawson went out. Even before he went out, he was having a decent game. It wasn't like he was having that bad of a game. Uh, also look at our young wide receivers. They're not really doing anything. Chris Gibbons didn't do anything. Jerry Cook didn't do anything. Taven Austin, it's like he has a lot of receptions, but the receptions don't go anywhere. Everything is horizontal. That could have been a result of the pass attack and then not having a time to throw the ball deep. Taven Austin did have a punt return that went for a touchdown. However, it was uh, called back because of penalties. There was a penalty that occurred right at... Right at the point of attack, right, right where he broke it. So it's sort of hard to say uh, whether or not he would have broken that play if it was not for the touchdown, if it was not for the penalty that occurred. So uh, that really sums up the game. It was a beating, and going in, I said the three keys were limit the run and the. Uh, Pass tack. They didn't, they didn't do that. Get pressure. Uh, keep the pressure off of Bradford. And have a, have a balanced attack. They didn't have any of that. So they really had no chance to to win to win this game. It was, it was an embarrassing game for the Rams. Let's see here. I had, I had a good article that went over the injury report. Because I know that uh, Jake Long left the game. Richardson was injured. There are a couple players who did not practice on uh, Monday. Because we have a short week this week. We're going to face the Cowboys. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Rams are able to do in this second, in this game. Overall, I would give the, the team a D. A D. And you have to... Leave on this. For three games in, we have no rushing attack. None. We have no uh, running backs. I don't think Pede, Pede Cunningham, Richardson, I don't think either one of them are really going to be uh, running backs you can depend on. And you have to look at what's going on for our wide receivers. You really expect that Chris Gibbons to be having a better, perform better performance going down. He has had a 100-yard receiving game, but he has not been – Influential the way he was last year, <coughs> and then of our defense, our, <coughs> our defense has not been able to stop any type of passing attack. So you wonder what's going to happen with that. It will be interesting to see what our team does going in, in uh, with the uh, Niners. It'll be a national TV, so we'll see what happens. And as I always say, peace and have a good one.